What's up everyone, Johnny again, back with another news video. I did have a bit of a chat with Rob and we've been looking at a lot of the comments that you've been leaving on these videos and also on the channel. And we've decided that in between big podcast episodes, I'll continue to produce some of these new style videos just so we can have a chat about what's going on in the world of USC and MMA. And also it helps keep the channel active and you seem to like them as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Looking forward to continuing to produce these on the channel. But let's talk about Marab Dvalishvili. Let's talk about Sean O'Malley. So we all saw what Marab did to Henry Cejudo at UFC 298. And then after that, we saw his post-fight you know, speech. He called out Sean O'Malley. He wants that title opportunity next. And even Dana White himself said that, yeah, Marab is absolutely next for the title. But the one person that couldn't seem to agree was Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley has been eyeing off that fight with Ilya Tapuria. And trust me, later in the video, I'm going to be talking about how annoyed I am personally with this champ versus champ stuff. It's got to stop. It's got to bloody stop. But we'll talk about that in a second. So Sean O'Malley needed a little bit of convincing. And obviously, marab has been doing really great on social. Everyone's behind him right now. And I'm sure Sean, o Sean O'Malley has been receiving a lot of pressure, even from his fans, to take the fight with Marab. It seems like he's finally conceded and admitted the feat and he says that, yeah, Marab is absolutely next. Obviously, after he potentially beats Cheeto Vera. They still need to fight. We still need to see who wins out of them. But this is what he had to say about potentially fighting Marab, right? So we uploaded a video to his YouTube channel and said this. Let me start with this. Initially, I was calling for Ilya. I, want, I wanted the Ilya fight. I wanted that fight. It excites me. But I also thought the fans would get excited about it. But I got a lot of pushback saying, you're ducking Marab. Marab is next. So Marab's next. Let's do Marab. I'm telling you guys, I knocked Marab out. I rewatched Henry versus Aljo after I was there. And I told you guys, I'm knocking Aljo out. All you guys said, no way, you're not knocking Aljo out. He's going to take you down and kill you. Here we go again. Obviously, I've got to get through Cheeto, but I'm telling you guys, when I fight Marab, I'm knocking that dude out. He's sloppy. I'm accurate. I'm too fast. I'm too sharp. I'm telling you boys, I put Marab's lights out worse than Aljo. Aljo, little TKO. Marab, I'm putting to sleep. Turning his nose straight. But then he does be a little bit nicer to Marab and he says, and I'll give credit to Marab. Marab's effing improved, not just fighting, but on social. He's doing a really good job building himself up, being himself, being a goofy, ugly ass, and he's doing a good job. So that's the fight next. So first of all, Marab Beyond deserves it, right? He like I think he deserved it previously because he was on a nine fight win streak. And now it's a 10-fight win streak. He just ragdolled. He absolutely mauled Henry Cejudo, especially, of course, in rounds two and three at UFC 298. And this guy not only is now on a 10-fight win streak, he's beaten recently in his last three fights Aldo, Jan, and also Cejudo, right? How the hell does someone in that position... Like, not just walk into a title opportunity. He's absolutely getting it. And Dana White, as I mentioned, said that Marab is absolutely next. And if Dana wants a fight, Dana is going to get the fight, yeah? And obviously, between Marab and, and Sean O'Malley, there's a great story there. We saw that Sean O'Malley obviously knocked out uh, Aljamain Sterling. And that was, to some people, unexpected. And even before that, you had a bit of back and forth with, with Marab and Sean O'Malley stealing his jacket and all that. They have that kind of built-in story there. They can really use the angle, you knocked out my mate, my best friend, I'm going to take my vengeance and revenge and all that kind of stuff. The story is there. All the UFC need to do is build a cool promo, take it, take, take the ball and run with it, right? So it's built in there. It's going to be such a slam dunk for them. And also as well, even as Sean O'Malley admitted, marab has been great on sh socials. The good dude's funny. He's absolutely hilarious. And people are actually getting on his side. Maybe beforehand, people weren't necessarily sold on Marab, but then he built, beat Jose. You know, he beat Cejudo recently. It's just beyond you. People are excited for him. And I think they're going to have a great little build up between the two. And to be honest, it's a very, very interesting fight. If you were to ask people for my prediction right now, I would say that, yeah, I think Marab is absolutely going to maul Sean O'Malley, right? He's going to ragdoll him. His, his cardio is too good. His pace is too good. He's just relentless. We saw him in all of his fights almost, but especially in his fight against Cejudo. He just wouldn't let Cejudo up. He just kept going and going and going and going and going. Even in that first round, which I believe Cejudo won, even after that first round, he just 
kept going. Like this dude, we need to study him for, for science. I don't know how his cardio is that good. And yeah, he's probably not getting a finish on Sean O'Malley, but all he needs to do is out wrestle him and just be annoying for th- or for five rounds. And I think that he will win it. However, I will say this. If you remember in the fight with Cejudo, Marab got wobbled. He absolutely got wobbled. What was the specific moment? So I think Marab did like a left, right, left, and then Cejudo ducked and cracked him with a left on his chin, on his face. And he was genuinely wobbled there. And it was actually very similar. Someone uploaded this comparison to TikTok. It was very similar, like almost punch for punch with a moment in, in his fight with Marlon Moraes. Literally, it was the exact same left, right, left, and then he got cracked with a left. He needs to be careful. This is Henry Cejudo, right? Cejudo, you know, is definitely not as powerful in terms of punches than Sean O'Malley. If Cejudo was close to wobbling him there and knocking him out, then absolutely Sean O'Malley in that exact same situation would knock Marab out. We didn't think that it was going to happen against Aljamain Sterling, and look what he did, right? Marab needs to be very careful. Yes, I think that he is going to win the fight. That is my early prediction. But if he's not careful and he shows those cracks in his game where he's a little bit unrelenting, he's a little bit careless, if he does that against Sean O'Malley, he has real bloody knockout power He's going to get slept. And that's what Sean O'Malley is kind of saying. I'm too fast. I'm too quick. I'm too accurate, right? So that is going to be my early prediction. He does need to be a little bit careful. But let me just say this. I alluded to this at the beginning of the video when it comes to O'Malley saying he wants to fight Ilya Tapuria. Guys, can we stop this? Can we stop the whole champ versus champ thing? Like, it was fine when Volk did it because he cleared out the bloody division, right? But you need to have at least a couple of title defenses. And it's not just Sean O'Malley. Ilya Tapuria says... I want one more fight, either against Sean O'Malley, and I think he mentioned Colin McGregor like a million times, and somebody else in there. He's like, I'll have one of those title defenses, and then I'm going to fight someone else in in the next weight class. He wants to fight someone for the title, and it's annoying. I'm sick of these champ versus champ things, especially when the current title holder has barely had any defenses, let alone even one defense. Ilya Tapuria just got the title, and he's already talking about doing a champ versus champ fight. Sean O'Malley... Just got the title recently. Why is he even thinking about fighting Ilya Tapuria? Can we at least have minimum four or five? Minimum four or five title defenses. I kind of wish that the UFC would have that as a soft rule, even a harder rule. That would be amazing, but they would never do it because they can see the money. They can see the potential in these fights. Like, could you imagine Sean O'Malley versus Ilya Tapuria in Spain? It'd be absolutely huge. It would be absolutely huge. So I just I just want to see less of this stuff. It only should be happening with people that are genuinely deserved of it. They've absolutely cleared out the, vi- the, the division. They have nothing left to, left to do. They are completely dominant, just like Volk was. Then let it happen, and then we're all excited. But I'm just sick of the whole double champ thing. Honestly, I am. It's rub- rubbing me the wrong way. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about what Sean said about Marab. Who do you think would win when it comes to Marab versus Sean O'Malley? Genuinely interested in what you have to say. I'll be in the comments responding to you all. And until next time, this has been Johnny. Please take care of yourselves.